water is life. As it said, whoever gives his people quality water has succeeded in giving them life. This depicts what Ripple Eyed Foundation has brought to the people of Vandeka community in the southeastern part of Benue State, Nigeria. Vandeka is a community predominantly occupied by the Thief ethnic group. For years, the community has been in a state where they lack good and drinkable water. Opinions sampled from the people of the community revealed that the only source of water in the town is the Aya River, a river which is located behind the market square. The one from the riverside there. Because when it is in the dry season, you will not see the color of the water. Very, very black. We are using liver, but that liver is not good to us to use it. On our media crew's visit to the Aya River, the state of the river is appalling as there were huge refuse dumps at its bank. Children were seen taking their bath and defecating at the same time in the river. The river was highly contaminated, that its color was moldy and its smell uninviting. Further inquiries by a crew from traders in the market made it known that the river provides them the water they drink, used for cooking, washing and doing other household activities. Even the butchers who trade in the market claimed that they use the water to wash their meat after slaughtering them. The water we use in washing our meat here was very, very bad. But because of this project that you have done for us, we are very, very appreciative that maybe the problem of water will be over. So we are very, very happy with the butchers in Vanica here, are very, very happy with the job we're done. The height of the people's predicament became an issue that needed urgent attention when a young girl of six years, Gloria Obagidi, was diagnosed of typhoid intestinal perforation, a health disease where her intestine developed holes in it. This was as a result of the river water from which she drank. According to her father, Mr. Obagidi, who said the family has spent over 1.4 million naira in treating her. She happened to take bad water over there with the debris and everything like that. She was uh, sick. We took her to the um, teaching hospital. They said they cannot handle that. We went to Federal Medical Center. It was from there that she was diagnosed of typhoid perforation. Something like that. Ask me, and they said the intestine have holes. Therefore, the doctor, we, we spent money. In a bid to forestall future occurrence of such magnitude in the community, an illustrious son of the soil, Mr. Bem Indian Gaba, further sought the quick intervention of the Ripple Eyed Foundation in providing good and drinkable bottled water to the community. The project commenced in April and was commissioned for use on Tuesday, May 15, 2018 at the Village Market Square, a site where the borehole was built. Speaking at the ceremony, the country director of Ripple Eyed Foundation, Mr. Paul Agada, expressed his satisfaction over the swift completion of the project. He said the borehole was dug in such a way that it would serve the entire community quality and drinkable water. He thanked the community for their cooperation and urged them to make good use of the water provided to them. Paul also sought the support of Vandeka local government area chairman. According to him, the foundation wished to extend their poverty alleviation program to agriculture and sports in the land. He concluded by saying the foundation is bent on putting smiles on the faces of the common man through its stated programs. To make water available for the people of Vandekia. The only source of water in Vandekia is from this Aya River. The Aya River here is so dirty, so unclean and smelling. We came across a little girl. And this little girl was infected with typhoid perforation. Please, may I have Gloria? 
she was infected this day of perforation. It is a matter of urgency to bring water to the people of Vandekia. Immediately, we send our team to Vandekia to start operation. She has suffered in the hands many times for this and these infections are the result of infection from this Aya River. And we wept because don't know how many of these children are suffering from this typhoid perforation. And so we quickly, with the pressure from our brother Ben Mindagaba, to come and sink this borehole. This borehole is 94.5 meters deep. And that's as far as 3.6 feet down to get water. I want to let us know that this project is to be made available free of charge to the people of Andekia. Nobody should collect one naira before effect fetch water from this project. This project will be handed over to the community. It's a community project. And the community will appoint somebody to manage the project. The maintenance of the project will be discussed by the council. And we expect that these 10,000 liters to supply us water at two days. I want to thank our founders, Chiedu, Uweche, and Harry Argo from the UK. They have been a great support to this project. And all of us, all over the world, that have supported us in one way or the other, we say thank you. This is what your money has done. But we need more to do more for the people in the continent of Africa. Behind you there is our abattoir. When we came in here, we couldn't enter the abattoir. The abattoir is so unkept. But today, Ben in the Agaba took upon himself to innovate the abattoir. If you look have a brand new abattoir for the missilers in Bandakia. Please, may you jam your hand for Ben in the Agaba. And to Ripple Heights, I want to thank all my team, Solomon and Ben. They have been here for the last one month to survive this project. I am afraid of the crowd that is here today. Ripple Heights is going places. I know in a few months to come, we will have a seat in the Commonwealth. I want to appreciate you for this crowd. Thank you so very much. God bless you. Meanwhile, the chairman of Vandeka Local Government Area, Honorable Dennis Akura, congratulated the community on the project while giving a speech. He thanked Ripple Eyes Foundation for contributing meaningfully to the lives of the people. He promised them that his government will ensure the sustenance of the project as it will set up a committee to monitor and ensure its maintenance. The Ripple Heights, uh, our brother Bem India Garba, who is the initiator and who is our brother that have brought uh, Ripple Heights to Vandika local government to put in place this project, is a welcome development. And we gave them assurance that to show them that we have appreciated this, we will make sure that this project is sustained. That is why we have constituted a sustainable committee to look over this project. You have given us water. We are grateful because water is life. Water gives health. And uh, uh, when we, we, that will sanitize our place too. You know, the abattoir, water is very close. It will sanitize. Our environment will sanitize, it will give us more help. So we appreciate it. Uh, I'm so, so motivated and so, uh, so excited about uh, making this uh, project a reality. So I actually appreciate the Rifle House for the wonderful job they have done in our town here. But Ben, a young man, and his Ripple Heights have made it possible. Just like God says in his, in his Bible, there's a time for everything. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3, there's a time for everything. Rotary tried, 
we couldn't do it because it wasn't time. God has says this is the time and the agent he is going to use is BEM and Ripple Heights. I'm telling you, this project will change the lives of many people, not only in this town, but also in the environment. A big thank you to Ripple Heights, a very, very, very big thank you to Ripple Heights. Um, luckily, I've known the people behind Ripple Heights for many, many years. I am not um, surprised at the quality of support they've given us, and I know they will do more. Dignitaries who grace the occasion are cabinet and members of the local government area, the paramount ruler of the kingdom, and his council of chiefs.